Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Procreate Pocket time lapse tutorial. I was asked to illustrate this little dog as a gift. So my first step is to outline. I use the Studio Pen brush most 90% of the time when I illustrate. Um, so you can see here I'm just creating my first layer with this very light cream color, outlining it, filling in the shape, and then I've now created a new layer for a new color which is slightly darker and this is going to be the contour, the shadowing, adding a second layer really brings the shape of whatever you're trying to draw to life, it really really makes a difference. As you can see in this photo, there's quite a bit of shadowing on the dog already. So what I've done is I've actually kind of separated out a whole bunch of shapes. You can be very, very relaxed with this. I was just, you know, not putting too much thought into it, but just making sure it, most of the shapes kind of were separated. They weren't just one big full shape because it wouldn't give off as good, good an effect of creating all the different limbs, torso, ears, etc. So there you can see both those two colors are already bringing out the shape of the dog really, really well. Um, you can see here I'm just kind of adding in any extra little edges and nodules, smoothing out any lines. I do like these shapes to be very smooth and curved, nothing too sharp. I'm bringing out the shapes to the edge of that base layer as well, just to make it a little bit more effective as well. Um, but again, I think what I'm striving for here in this illustration is perfectly imperfect. Like, like I kind of just, you know, put it all together effortlessly, but really, you know, it takes a bit of time to make it look effortless. Uh, moving on to the face, uh, this photo that I originally had didn't quite have enough detail in the face. It wasn't crisp enough, so I actually just brought in another photo of the dog and kind of scaled it to the face of what I had on the original photo and I'm using that for the facial features but again it's pretty simple I just used a dark color for the eyes literally just pupil outlined the eye and then I just added in a little highlight as you can see there same with the nose just one color um, it's just making sure like it looks symmetrical enough I spent a little time on the nostrils they ended up kind of looking like a little alien face if you can see there and then also onto the mouth, again, just one base layer of a dark color. And then you can add in the tongue later as well as a separate layer. So with this style of illustration, I was kind of asked to make it quite abstract. So simple and abstract is really what I was going for. Again, you only have the two main colors for the dog, the lighter cream shade and that darker beige color. And then to create more detail, I use a fine line, a fine darker line, and I just use that to bring up the detail. So again, just drawing lines where he has grooves in his face, obviously his ears outlining his body, around his nose, his mouth, even though we did those other additional colors for the eyes, nose, and mouth, I still draw an outline as you can see there. So even that just brings out a lot more of the shape of the dog. And again, with this style I kind of want the lines to go in and out of the colors like not be perfect sometimes the color is colored outside of the line um, that's kind of the style you very much get a gist of what it's what the illustration is obviously but it's not perfect so yeah it is working out how to create everything and make sure it looks perfectly imperfect just adding in the tongue as well as another separate layer just another thing a reminder every new color that you do you need to make it a separate layer this makes editing each of those colors so much easier um, and as you can see here i actually play around with the tongue shape again with what i was saying the lines with the colors and the shapes just making sure they don't match up perfectly otherwise you don't see the detail of that fine line as well adding in some highlights on the eyes there also making sure you add in the little details around the paws as well. But yeah, that is the dog nearly finished. I'm just adding in some color for the collar. And I played around with this quite a bit too, just because they were quite bright primary colors. There was a blue, a red, a gold for the little, the little detail on the collar as well. So I just kind of played around making sure all the colors work together because well, obviously there's the tongue as well, with the pink. It's just kind of making sure your palette 
works with the rest of the Im with the rest of the image essentially. So I kind of muted them down, tried to play with um, the blue and the red, and tried to just make them work as well as I could with the color of the tongue and then the background and the color of the dog. Those are things you have to think about too. But that is pretty much the dog all done. I'm just fixing up some coloring and line detail down by the paws. And I think I do fill in a bit more of the torso area for the shadowing as well, just to make it look a little better. But yeah, you'll see in this next bit coming up, the dog is actually on a viewpoint, like a scenic lookout. And he's actually quite small in ratio to the rest of the image. So what I've done is I actually just grouped all of those layers of the dog that we had just done together so I could then scale him and make him bigger, as you can see here, significantly bigger than the original photo. Um, and then I moved on to the island in the background, that is Rangitoto in Auckland, New Zealand, if any of you guys are wondering. Very, very iconic for the city. And again, a very abstract shape for that. I added in the deck as well. And then I also noticed that the boards were like a herringbone pattern, but I kind of made it even more simple and I just did the just straight planks of wood. To create a straight line, you go from point A to point B. When you're on point B, you hold down and your line will then become perfectly straight, just as a little tip. And then I spend a bit of time on these outer edges as well, because again, I didn't want them to perfectly align with the color. I wanted a bit of spacing in there as well. Same with the island in the background. It's actually a volcano actually, I should call it a volcano. And I also added in some little sailboats in the distance, added some other tones to the sky and the sea, so it gives a bit of depth there as well. Rescaled the little dog. And then I also added in that greenery on the left there as well, just to fill out the illustration a little more. And as you can see, it is nearly there. I tried to add in this, I think they must have been little jet skis, but they weren't quite working out. But again, with everything in the background, they kind of have one to two main colors and then the additional fine line for the detail. Um, I think on the left with the greenery, I also add in on the right. So I just copy and pasted that tree, added in a few more little leaf type textures so it wasn't completely the same, erased part of it and added it onto the other side and that's just one layer and then you add a second for that line detail. And that is the final print done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions please don't forget to comment them down below. I hope you liked this style of video, I definitely will have more coming and I've got a Procreate Pocket Q&A coming up next so if you do want to see that please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!